All right, this is Brother Jackie, Brother Steve, part two of, uh, or get ready for the end of all things. We just was discussing the blood moons, the Passover that's coming up uh, under the blood moons of Passover was uh, the day that God had separated his people. Yes. At the Passover when he's eating the supper, the lamb supper there with his apostles, uh, a, a lion was drawn with Judas mm -hmm. and the apostles. It was also known as the day with Moses, uh, you know, when God had delivered the children of Israel mm -hmm. out of Egypt. And we're going to get to that in a few minutes. But the most thing about it to me today is that it stirred my heart so oh my. when I got up, uh, I'm always trying to look to see what God is saying to me, and today was a very unusual day. Yeah. Last night we had some prayer and my wife was crying, trying to cry out and press for as you you know, we yes. were. And she started finally crying, trying to break through, but you gotta get on your knees, you go you're gonna have to press. Amen. You have to love the Lord God with all your heart, soul and mind to make it and it's gonna take all your effort. But this scared the hell out of me, people. Yes. If this is the end of the lead the sea in church age, under these blood moons, like I said, and the end of the prophecy of Joel and Acts chapter 2, like the early church, don't tell me God did not declare the end from the beginning because he did. They were our examples. Yes. And they went on to fill the first commission. And so, but they were waited uh, on the day of Pentecost for the Lord to come back from heaven in the form of a death to empower them and baptize them with the Holy Ghost and with fire. fire. Can you believe that? Amen. Can. can you believe that? So, uh, I'm going to let Steve speak just a minute before I get on uh, with this program here. Brother Jackie, Brother Steve at WildernessMountainMinistry.org. And before I do, I want to play just one little 30-second, uh, uh, just a little something you would like. Where the Lamb had opened a book, Daniel's last week began Revelation chapter 22. And seal not up the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Amen. Whosoever will, let him come, take the water of life freely, and then the bride and the bridegroom comes. Amen. All right, let me play this. Have we arrived to the final call? Whosoever will let him come and take the water of life freely. How does the world economy today fit into biblical prophecy? How do we understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God? What is happening in the world today in the news to tell us where we are in prophecy and what we should be preparing for? The Lamb has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals. All right. We're back. Steve, I turn it over to you. Well, I wanted to express to you all how this message has impacted me, even since I got wind of it last night as we were in prayer. And I woke up with such such a heart, such a broken heart, that I knew that I that something special was going on today when I first woke up. And then when I heard this message today, my, I, 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 my heart has just been like exploding inside and you know like the king of Babylon when they brought in the chalices and the cups and the things of the temple and started to drink out of them and then they saw the hand of God drawing writing on the wall in Babylon and his it's the scripture said that his hips became disjointed and his knees started to knock and and he was all upset and all shook up and that's exactly how I feel today, that my knees are starting to knock, and my hips feel out of joint, and my heart is longing to get, my, get right with God, to love God with all my strength, with all my might, with all my soul, so that I know that my sins are forgiven, so that I know my iniquity is purged, so that I become the new converted man that God wants me to be, because He has set his love on me to call me out. Amen. And I just have to love him so for doing that out of the billions of people that are on this planet. And you who are hearing this message today, you should have that same type of gratitude 
and love and concern for your God as I do today, that I, I want to be right with my God. I want to be in the right frame of mind and heart and soul with my God so that there's nothing that separates me from Him in life or death. Because, like Jackie said, the end of all flesh is at hand. Thank you, Reverend Steve. Uh, this is a very serious hour it is. for all of us, the whole world, and all the nations are about to be cut off. Amen. I put my whole reputation on it. Yes. If it don't happen, I'll walk off. Amen. But I was inspired by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today, and uh, given this, and I was very moved, and it's, it was like, this is real. Yes. This is real. This is Israel. Amen. And so, you know, so I prophesied of uh, the historical meeting of uh, the three world religions that came to pass two years before they even came to pass. And I said, if it didn't happen in May, I'd walk off, Steve. Yes. It did happen. It did happen. Right, it, it happened right in May 2011. We're coming to the end. That's when the final call went out. Uh, in 2011, David Wilkerson had passed away in April. Yes. And it opened up the call to anguish for people to repent. You may yes. want to look that up on YouTube, a call to anguish, to show you how to get right, because you got to feel God's burden. Amen. you got to feel His pain. You've got to be sorry for your sins. Yes. You have to press. You have to, like I said today, bring every thought into captivity. Amen. Can you imagine us giving yourself up? You're dying out to yourself. Having your mind renewed, your program. But you can't do it unless you seek God. Amen. Without His Spirit, unless you repent. That's right. You ain't going to find Him. You're going to lose everything. Amen. And so, these blood moons are telling us God has a clock, the Jewish clock yeah. of, of old, and we are grafted in Gentiles, and we see it. Amen. We see the clock. We know the clock. Yes. Uh, and so, so, we are sounding the alarm. In his most holy mountain. So let me get on here. Uh, I believe if you'll turn to Revelation 22 and you'll find out that uh, where the Lamb did open the book because the seals couldn't be loosed until the 70th week of Daniel. Right. And Daniel was told to seal them up to the time of the yeah. end. Well, then you open the end of the New Testament and there it is, John the Revelator. Seal not up the sands of the prophecy of this book for the time is yeah. come. It's at hand for all the mysteries and prophecies to be revealed. Yes. And so, and it gives a final call that matches this. Amen. And if you'll remember Jesus on that last great day of the feast, he stood up and cried also, Whosoever thirsts, let him come, take the water of life freely. And now how did he do that on those feast days? Right. How is he going to do perform this Passover? Is our hearts going to be right? Are we going to be sold out? Or, or, or is our mind going to be made up? We're going to spend eternity. Are we going to be, hearts going to be right with God? Or is the blood going to be applied yes. to our doorposts? Because the death angel is about to come. Amen. When you say Russia and Ukraine, that's, that's, that's a giveaway taking over Europe to, to enforce the new executive laws to become equal partners with NATO. I don't get a sad, so that they can... Uh, be equal partners in Europe with the missile shield, and it's all set up and it's done. Yes. That's what this is saying, Joel. Those horsemen, people out of control, like thieves climbing up into your house and windows Amen. to take a spoil. All right, thank you, Brother Steve. Yes. I say we repent. Amen. Okay, the Exodus 12. This month shall be unto you the beginning. I'm talking about Passover now. Yes. Old Testament. Exodus 12, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. Wow. Amen. Now, Joel 2, Acts 2, there's another book of Acts. Mm -hmm. God is going to pour out His Spirit one more time yes. upon us. And if we reject that, we're going to be damned. Amen. You're going to know when He does it. Yes. Because you're going to prophesy. And you're going to see visions. And you're going to have dreams. One more time. That's all you're going to get out of this life. D this is it. It happened with the early church. I'm a 
with the dove, with the Holy Ghost and with fire, and they went from faith to faith to glory to glory. They were changed. Mm -hmm. The bridegroom did come at that time. <laughs> he did. He, the, the bridegroom came to the early church. Let me read up. This is amazing. Get ready for the final exodus from Passover to begin the exile out of the cities before the death angel comes. And he is coming. Amen. New executive laws. Thus did all the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron, so they did. <clears throat> Israel, Israel, if you're Israel, you need to get back home now, I'm telling you. If this message is right, which I believe it is, you don't have but just a few months, maybe to the fall feast, to get back to Israel, to your homeland, where your Messiah is coming to save you. I wanted to make that clear. You better get home now while you can. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure those that are the lords of the 144,000 will hear this. Yeah. He will get his number. I don't worry about the rest of them. Amen. Not the remnant. Daniel 12. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even until the time of the end. Wow. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, look at this, Daniel chapter 12. There stood other two, two, mm -hmm. one on this side of the bank of the river, that's a prophet, who speaks for God, his mouthpiece. And, and the other on that side of the bank of the river, we know who that is yes. on the other side. Amen. And ain't that something? And yeah. the one about to come that's going to stand upon the waters of the river to the, as it comes suddenly to his temple to the grafted in Gentiles Amen. before he switches back to the natural branches. All right. I'm shaking in fear. Amen. I want to go down here and read on now because I showed you the, 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 all of the feast days and the clock here, the day of the Feast of Tabernacles where it ends, October 17th. And then the next day, the comet. Yeah. Is this the pole shift? Is this the sign a day or two after the Feast of Tabernacles, the end of the eighth great day for the Gentiles? It's over. Yeah. Is that judgment coming to Mars? Will that be a sign of destruction as we had three comets? Elenin in 2011, Ison in 2013, and 20A1 Comet Springside, October 18th, right after the blood moon. Can you believe that? When the, when the eighth great day is over, the door is, is fully closed. He's got his number yes. of the Gentiles. And the Laodicean church age comes to a close, and there's a switch back to 2015 under the two blood moons that represents the natural branches. Amen. The first two represents the Gentiles, the wild olive trees, yes. to be grafted in. Steve, yes. this is amazing, ain't it? It is absolutely astounding. It's amazing. It's astounding. It's, a, it's so amazing that I'm telling you, it's almost unbelievable. Astounding. Okay, let me go on down here. I said, uh, get ready for the final witness and outpouring of the Holy Spirit as a final witness to this last generation, and then the end shall come. What does this mean under the first blood moons, Passover 2014? Get ready for the restoration of all things. The, the, get ready for the feast of uh, days of the next blood moons to the eighth great day of the Feast of Tabernacles, of God's clock. Tabernacles means you're dwelling with your God. Amen. It's over. And then the uh, comment. 20A113. If it hits Mars, there's no telling what it may do. There's going to be great and fearful sights from above. Amen. And it may poison the earth, the gases from all of it. Who knows? It may hit the earth. The gravitational pull sounds. We've never had this, is what I'm saying. In my lifetime, I've never seen a comet come so close. Amen. Especially headed right toward a planet near us. Yes. 
So you better think about that. Because this may cause the pole shift. I believe it's going to let us know we have entered into the tribulations. Mm -hmm. The last 42 months. I believe that's what the sign is of destruction coming. All right. Let's see. I counted from Passover to first month. I done, I done read that. Let me go on down. Get ready. Blow a trumpet in Zion. I read that. Sanctify fast and call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, look at that. Sanctify Amen. the congregation. Sanctify it by the word of God. Amen. Clean yourself. Strip yourself bare. Amen. Let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar, and let them let them say, Spare not spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to a reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? Look at that. Yeah. Then will the Lord be jealous. Amen. He'll turn back. If we'll turn back, he'll turn back. Yes. If Amen. we don't turn back, we've had it. We're going right. to be cut off. Amen. You'll be right. cut off. Get ready for the countdown. End of the latter reign. James chapter 5. Read, please. Look for this, for it will surely come to pass in the first month of Passover, the blood moons the lunar be glad then you children of zion and rejoice in the lord your god for he has given you the former rain moderately he will cause to come down for you the rain the former rain and the latter rain guess when and the first month did you catch that amen passover yes is the first month the latter rain He's going to, like Joel, he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh one more time. That's what he's saying. And it's going to run a course to the next blood moon, to the a day of atonement. Come on, people. Amen. God has a clock here. Yes, he does. And after that day of atonement, you're going to start the Feast of Tabernacles, seven days, and you're going to come to the end of the eighth great day of eternity where you're dwelling with your God. Amen. And that's it. The door shuts. And the comet comes a day after. after. Can you believe that? Destruction's coming, people. Amen. The Lord's about to turn this earth upside, upside down, down and empty it out. Yes. You better not mock this. Do not forget. Passover. Let me read this. Be glad, you children of Zion. Re rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you to rain, the former rain, and the latter rain, and the first month, Passover, Passover, the first month. The blood moons means this Passover is the first month, and the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. Come on. Yes. Look at this. He starts opening the heavens, Steve. Amen. You can't get that unless God starts opening the heaven when you weep between the porch and the altar. Right. He's going to hear you. Amen. If you're seeking him and praying, he's going to hear you. He's going to forgive your sins. Yes. He's going to forgive your sins. He's going to save you and he's going to heal you and he's going to, your joy, unspeakable, the Holy Ghost with fire. Amen. I'm telling the truth, people. Amen. I'm trying to be honest here. Yes. I'm trying to be honest. I'm trying to be as honest as I can. So let me read on. Let me read on. Now you know Joel. I said get ready for the six month countdown from Passover. Be ready by Passover. As the death angel is to be loosed across the land. And the seal of the next horse will be Russia and China rising up. And Europe. To take peace away from the earth. As God has given us a clock to go by. His holy feast days. And I have been granted the revelation to sound this alarm in his most holy mountain. Joel, let's read about this, the first month of Passover, Steve. Yes. Can you believe that? It's in the Old Testament lining up with the new. Amen. Those that are under the law that keeps those feast days is lining up perfectly with the New Testament. Yes, amen. Of, the gen of, the, of, of those that are saved under grace. Amen. And not the law. Yes. Come on, people. Amen. How do, how do we do that together? Wow. How do we get in one mind together like that? That clock. How do, how, 
How does the Gentiles, how are they enlightened? How did they get the revelation of that? The first month of Passover. Yes. 2014 under the blood moons. Listen, people, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out uh, my spirit upon all flesh. You're going to, one more time, you're going to hear this, and then the door's going to shut. What do you hear for bear? Your sons, your daughters shall prophesy. Your, your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaidens in those days, uh, they shall prophesy. And God says, I will show wonders in heaven. Mm -hmm. You're about to see them like crazy, I'm telling you. Wonders. Blood, earth, blood, fire, pillars of smoke. Get ready. Oh, what can that be? Look at that. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Ooh. Blood moons. Yes. Sun shall be dark and blood. These are blood moons. Amen. This is exactly what Jesus said would happen before his coming of the terrible day of the great day of the Lord, the notable day of the Lord come. Amen. He told us to look for them. There'll be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Now look at this. And I will show wonders in heaven. The sun shall be turned to darkness, the moon and the blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. As the Lord has said, and the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Last, last final call. This is, this, lady, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care what that preacher said. This is it. Amen. I have boldly declared and stood my grounds against all opposition of the false church world. Jesus is coming again and it is our only hope. Amen. I do not care what you what you do. You've been told to prepare your hearts for this great event, the second coming of the Lord, and the church will do exploits. And the Lord will pour out his spirit in those days and they shall prophecy. Joel two twenty eight is there and it shall come to pass. That he pour his spirit out upon all flesh in the first month, Passover. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? Yeah. It's coming. And they'll have dreams and visions. Uh, and it shall come to pass that whosoever is going to give you one more time to call upon his name. Mm -hmm. But you better, you better heed the tugging. And you better heed the cry. Yeah. And you better heed the call. Yeah. Notice, the sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon and the blood, before that great and terrible day of the Lord come. What, what is this meaning? Well, it's the blood moons of 2014 Passover to the foul feast days, and it was finished on that last day of the great feast day when Jesus stood up and cried, Whosoever will, let him come take the water of life freely. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. and, he, and he went on, and he, and, uh, and, and, the, and that's the Gentiles, my friend, is the revelation of the two first blood moons, the shutting of the door of grace. And then 2015 will be Jacob's troubles, where God will open the doors for the Jews of the small remnant of the 144,000 to get that number under the angel from the east to seal them, Revelation chapter 7. And after these things, I saw four angels standing upon the four corners of the earth. Look at that. Look at that. Amen. That that the wind should not blow on the earth or the sea or any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, rising up, having to preach the seal of the living God, to seal the of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth. Yes. Neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. I mean, you talking about, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and the number were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Ain't that amazing that we raised this wheat, Brother Steve, for them? Yeah. And they're making Aliyah, and they're going to be back home very shortly, because there's, there's an exodus out of this too. Yes. Yes, it is. 
Moses at the end of it, you know, it's, it's there. God has granted me the revelation for the hour. I need to get this wheat into Israel now. As, as the close of the Gentile, Gentile door of grace, which gives us only to the fall feast days, Brother Steve. Amen. To the closing of the door. Yes. To the switch. For everyone to be in their places. Amen. Are you one of, one of the wise that will escape the sword that is coming to America? And this whole world, as it shall come to pass that everyone that will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people? And when the prophet sees the sword comes... And he don't warn the people. He, and he warns the people. Sound the alarm. Listen. Ezekiel. It says that, that those people shall die. If they don't hear. Ezekiel 33. 1, 1. Again the word of the Lord came unto me saying. Son of man. Speak to the children of that people. And say unto them. When I bring the sword upon the land. If the people of the land. Take a man. Of their cost. Look at that. And set him for their watchman. And when he sees the sword come upon the land, and he blows the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet and take up not warning, mm -hmm. if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. You've been warned. Amen. For 30, 40, 50 years by preachers. He heard, he heard the sound of the trumpet now. Mm -hmm. And they have. They heard it. Yes. He went out, and they took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he, he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. Amen. He's talking about me yes. that's warning you, and other men of God that's warning you. That's what, that's what he's talking about. And I'm going to save myself from this underworld generation, yes. perverse and crooked. But if the watchmen see the sword come, they tell you no one knows. No one knows. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, the they prophets do. know. The watchman that sees the sword come and he blows not the trumpet. Look at that. He don't blow the trumpet. And the people be not warned. Look at that. Yes. If the sword come and take a, take any person from among them, he is taken in his iniquity, and, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Amen. Ezekiel, hear the word of the Lord. O thou son of man, I have set the watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear, hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. When I say to the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, the wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked uh, of, of his ways to turn from it, and if he do not turn from his ways, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thyself. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel, thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how would we live, then live? Say unto them, As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but the, that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will you die, O house of Israel? Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of thy people, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live, and if he trust to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteous, righteousness shall not be remembered, but for his iniquity that he has committed, he shall die for it. And again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, if he turn from his sin, and, and do, do that which is lawful and right. People, this is the last time to repent and give, give to God what belongs to him, and plead the cause of the righteous, as commanded below. 33, 15. If the wicked restore the pledge... The pledge. Give again. Give again. Amen. Well, we're in need, ain't we? Yes, we are. I will bless Amen. those that bless Israel. I will curse Amen. those that curse Israel. Help us help us get this weight into Israel. And give again that he have robbed and walk in his statues without committing iniquity, he shall surely live and shall not die. Why well, ain't that something I'm talking about money here? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to warn him. 
Hey, that's something. Yes. That they will die. Amen. But if they pledge and give again, give again, Steve, is what it says. Yes. If they repent, give again. And we need, need that help for Israel to get this weight into Israel. Now, 180 times. at yahoo.com. My number's uh, 843-599-9881. Brother Steve, it's 715-567-0808. Uh, Give us a call. Go to my Wilderness Mountain uh, Ministry website. There's a PayPal button there. You can donate on behalf of the immigrants that makes Aliyah, because that's the ones we're going to feed when they get back home. Okay. Let me go on down. I want to get through with this. You know, and it says right here, it says, This will be the final warning to this last generation. And I heard, and he said, Revelations 22, 7, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keeps the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. When I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Mm -hmm. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not. Okay, i got to go on down. And he said unto me, Seal not up the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Here's drawing the line now. We're headed to Passover. The drawing of the Lamb was Passover, I'm telling you. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give to every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life may enter in through the gates into the city, for without are dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, whosoever loves and makes a lie. Amen. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright and early morning star. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. Let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him come and take the water of life freely. I'm telling you, that's the final warning. That's, that's a, this is the last time we can, we're going to be able to repent. Yes. I know it. And uh, Daniel, and, and he magnified Daniel 8, 11 to 7, where Daniel was told to seal up the vision until the time of the end. So, uh, yeah, and he magnified himself even to the prince of the host, and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away. I'm talking about Passover 2015 now under the natural branches. Mm -hmm. The Temple Mount worship. And, uh, and the place of his sanctuary was cast down, and a host was given him against the daily sacrifice. By reasons of transgression, it cast down the truth to the ground, and it practiced and it prospered. Then I heard one saint mm -hmm. speaking to the certain saint, which fact. Doing all the answers. I believe that's the same one in uh, Daniel 12, Brother Steve. Yes. And I heard other two, one on this side of the bank of the river and one on that side of the bank of the river that sent him. Amen. Saying, how long shall the daily sacrifice be? 2,300 days. Okay. All right. And it, and it came to pass, when I, even Daniel, had seen the vision sought for the meaning, then behold, there stood before me the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Uli, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and when I came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for, the, for at the time of the end shall be the vision. Referring to John, where, where I heard, or saying, Seal not up the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Mm -hmm. At hand means now. Right now. Amen. That started in 2011. Comet 2013, Al's Siding Springs. This, it talks about the inner solar system, October 19, 2014. And we know that this is uh, just a day or two after 
the, the last blood moon and the Feast of Tabernacles. Amen. And it talks about, uh, it talks a little bit about it right here. You can go in the videos and look under YouTube or tap it in and you can see when it's coming. They say it may directly hit Mars. Mm -hmm. If it does, with an impact of 125,000 miles per hour, you better look out for some kind of polar shift or for all the judgments to begin. Didn't he say that at the time of the end, my word shall no longer be prolonged anymore? There's a man that wrote me the other day and said, your prophecies haven't come true yet. Well, he's going to be what? Shocked. Yes, he is. Because I prophesy, prophecy comes first. Like yeah. what? Lightning before the 